One of the good things about being self-employed like I am is that I go to sleep super late every single night. And it's probably not a good thing, but it's a habit that I've kind of gotten used to since high school. The only difference is now I don't have to wake up at 8 a.m. to go to school or 6 a.m. when I was in college. Now I wake up whenever it is that I choose to do so, so I'm still getting my full time's worth of sleep, it's just kind of shifted over, so I wake up late, I stay up late. It's fine. Especially since when I wake up I start making YouTube videos and that kind of suffices as a regular job. But one of the benefits of having this schedule for myself is that all the IIHF World Championship games are always on whenever I'm editing and going to bed. So I always catch some of these games, I see some of the replays, I see the goals, the highlights, Canada, whatever. But when it comes to Team USA, there's been a player who has stood out amongst the rest as being an absolute stud. He's playing about 16 minutes of time on ice per night, and he's doing so against NHL caliber competition. Let's talk today about Lane Hudson, ladies and gentlemen, because he's gone out there and put himself a showcase that says that he is a lot better than we thought he was going to be. Okay, maybe not better. I think a lot of us thought that he would be alright, but just having him there and just showing that he is capable, there is so much value in that overall sentiment. So, Lane Hudson, as everybody knows, second round pick by the Montreal Canadiens last season. He was 5'8 when he was drafted, but now he's 5'11, I think it is? Let's check the uh, elite prospects. I didn't have this open when I started recording this video. 5'10", yes, yeah, so we grew two inches in the span of a year from 18 to 19 years old. So very good for him there. But Lane Hudson was seen as a steal of a pickup the moment his name was announced by Montreal. We made our YouTube video saying that this was an amazing pick. We had a lot of fans in the comments saying, yeah, this is a really good pickup. Lego, thank you for agreeing with us here because this is a young prospect that is really going to have some potential. And in the NCAA, he was an absolute superstar. Like, no holds barred, this was one of the best defensive prospects we have seen in a very long time. Better than Quinn Hughes, better than Luke Hughes, better than Owen Power, better than Zach Wierenski, better than Kale McCarr. He had better numbers as an 18-year-old freshman in the NCAA than all of these guys playing in a very good division for Hockey East. And so, for Lane Hudson... There was so much hype around this guy because of the way he was able to manipulate opponents, how he was able to traverse around in the offensive zone, and just dominate the game from that blue line. It's why he got the points, it's why he got all the considerations for the awards, and it's why Canadiens fans got super hyped up. And so, heading into this World Championship tournament for Team USA, a lot of us said, alright, this is gonna be the real test. Like, sure, he's playing off against adults in the NCAA, but a lot of these guys are not NHL caliber players, right? But the World Championships, you've got teammates like Connor Garland, you've got Benino, Coronado, okay, Coronado's kind of like borderline there. Alex Tuck is on this American squad, so there are some good players. And then on the other teams, I mean, Canada is comprised mostly of NHL talents. You've got a few other guys around the other teams that belong in the NHL. And Lane Hudson so far has had four points in the four-game sample he has played, a goal and three assists. And if you take a look at how he's getting these points, he's pretty much doing what it is that he had done throughout the entire regular season in the NCAA. Here's what Chris Peters went out there and said, Lane Hudson throughout the World Championships has looked like he did all season. He's confident on the puck, makes good reads and smart decisions, and he's not afraid to try things. Averaging over 60 minutes per game, got moved to the top power play unit, and now has four points through four games played. And earlier today, Hudson went out there and scored himself just an incredible goal against Team Austria where he just decides to do it all. He has the puck in his own zone, he's building up speed, he dekes around an Austrian forward in the USA blue line, dashes right through the middle, dangles the puck through the legs of the Austrian defender, squeaks by him, and then one hand taps the puck by the goalie. What an incredible goal scored by Lane Hudson to give Team USA that 3-2 lead. 
Not to mention the shootout goals that we had seen as well, Hudson is really showing off that in the grand scheme of things, this is a player that should not have been available in the second round in the slightest. From the NCAA stint to what he's doing at the World Championships to the caliber of goals and the types of points that he is scoring, this is a skilled, mobile, smart, aware defender that knows when to pinch up when he needs to and can just score some beautiful points. You had yourselves Matt Coronado going out there, he's a Flames prospect, talking about Lane Hudson saying this, he is definitely a special one. He's got a ton of skill. His offensive instincts are definitely one of the best that I've seen. He's so deceptive with his skating, with his hands, with his eyes. He does it all. And that is a very good scouting report from a guy that was a first round pick. You got Coach Quinn of Team USA, yeah, former Rangers head coach going out there and saying this, he is as electric and dynamic as he was in college in this tournament. The thing I like about Hudson is that he learns quickly about how he has to adapt his game to another level. He's a coachable kid, he works hard, and he is a great teammate. You can see his confidence is growing with the puck. He and I have talked about that. He may have to create offense a little bit differently at this level, a little bit more puck movement, but good things usually happen when the puck is on Lane's stick. And so ultimately, this is a guy that if the way he plays continues for next season, we could be looking at just an absolute mad lad when he eventually makes his NHL debut sometime in 2024. I think it was already confirmed that Hudson is going to spend next year in BU once again, so the Canadians are not going to get this guy until hopefully the end of the season when they get eliminated or when they win the championship, who really knows? But if Lane Hudson is really able to just marinate a tad more in the NCAA, maybe... I don't know, have a season that's good enough to net him that Hobie Baker, that in which he was kind of robbed of being not nominated for in the first place this year? This could be the ultimate redemption story for a guy that didn't really need to prove anything, but just had the opportunity to do so to say, ha, huh, I told you so. If you're a Canadians fan and you've been watching these World Championship games for Team USA, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Lane Hudson. It's nice to actually have an opportunity to see these guys on our television screens for once because you know, it's nice watching the NCAA games, but you always have to catch them on the highlight reel or sort of find different ways to watch them in the first place. So just having these on TSN is pretty nice and convenient, especially if you're a Canadiens fan also looking at Sean Farrell because he plays for Team USA as well. Hudson has outproduced Sean Farrell. Hudson has outproduced most players on Team USA, actually, with his point-per-game metric on the tournament. But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What are your opinions about how Hudson has played in the World Championships? What are your thoughts on how he's translated from the NCAA season with BU over to the international stage? Are you impressed? Are you surprised? Did you think he would be able to be this good? And did you think that he'd be able to score as many shootout highlight reel goals and just crazy end-to-end -end rushes like he had done against Austria earlier today? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye. <laughs>